Cicadas, from your backyard to your kitchen, these bugs seem to be all the buzz right now. But would you want to see them on a food menu? CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis has more on the cicada mania from Montclair State University. The sight of a cicada coming out of its shell and the insect's signature sound is 17 years in the making. They're living underground for 17 years and then packing all of their aging into this one tiny bit at the end of their lives. Montclair State University professor of anthropology Dr. Courtney Borgerson explains these broodex cicadas are only around for about four to six weeks. They're going to shed. The ladies are going to lay that next generation and we're not going to see them for 17 more years. So while you can bug appetite. They're really are good. And she says they're healthy, high in micronutrients, often missing in people's diets. Things like zinc and protein and even calcium, which we don't usually find in meats. For somebody who says I'm not going to eat a cicada, what's your pitch to eat one? When you're thinking of an insect that's coming out of the ground compared to a lot of other shrimps and seafood that you might eat, cicada is actually a lot healthier and cleaner of a food because they're sipping on the sap of those trees. Whereas a lot of the foods that look like them, like shrimp and other animals that we might be eating, are actually eating on waste. It's time for a cicada creation. We're making sushi cicada. Which includes a bunch of bugs pre-cooked in a pan with water and salt. No oil needed. I scaled the GWB. But this is the most brave thing I've done. Cheers. Cheers. It just tastes like sushi. I know what you may be thinking, but she says it's also good for food sustainability and to the environment. Insects as a whole take up a lot less land resources than many of the other meats that we're used to eating, things like cattle, pigs, or chicken. Also, easy to pack and share with a friend. Oh, Jenna, you got the bugs. I love these things. They are so delicious. They're good. Adventurous eaters, enjoy them while you can. Brood X Here. won't be back until 2038. Here's one for you at home. Jenna DeAngelis, <laughs> CBS 2 News. So the professor got her cicadas near Princeton University, where you will see an abundance of the bugs. And if you're feeling bold after watching this, we do have a link to her recipes on our website. Just click on links and numbers. You can also take part in our poll because we would like to know, would you eat a cicada. Our weatherman <laughs> no, did. Not for, although, remember the, remember the Life cereal commercial with Mikey? Yes. Let's get Mike, like, let's get John anything. Elliott. He'll eat it. <laughs> He'll eat anything. He'll eat anything. Not you though, Lonnie. No, I, that, I, I like to think I'm a bit of a risk taker. That, that just didn't, it doesn't, maybe not it's the, the texture risk. thing. Not the risk that you want to take, right? No, I don't think I, it's just not, it doesn't do it for me. No. And, and also, I love, no, but, but KJ, I loved when Jenna was saying how it's good for sustainability, taking care of Mama Earth. We all should have that as a priority. I got to work on that one, though.